All right, so welcome to one of the final chapters here in Photoshop. And this is my segue chapter to go from Photoshop into Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is all about the pen tool. And Photoshop also has the pen tool. So it's a way to draw or trace edges by connecting anchor points. It's like drawing with connect the dots. So I want to show you the basic rules of the pen tool, and then I'm going to give you a file so you can show me what you've learned about the pen tool. So we're going to start off with just a few basics. I'm going to go to File and Open. In Chapter 10, Demos, I'm going to go to 10.0, and we have three different tracings here. One is straight paths. The next one is all about curves. And the final one is a combination of straight and curves. So I'm going to open up this JPEG, Straight Paths. And the goal, it says trace these straight lines, then stroke the path with a brush tip as proof, as visual proof to show me that you did it right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is hit D for default colors. And then I'm going to zoom in right here on these two lines. Okay, notice how there's a red line and it's being connected by these two anchor points. This line in the middle is not what we're concerned with. It's establishing the beginning and the end anchor points. Photoshop will automatically connect them, like connect the dots. So you'll notice right next to your type tool, you have an arrow tool here in Photoshop. Okay, and as this little video is showing you, your white arrow is used to pull anchor points apart. So I always, when I go to draw, I want to make sure I'm on the white arrow. This is your editing tool for paths. It's good for correcting mistakes. Then right above that, I have a bunch of different pen tools. I want the top one. Okay, before I use the pen tool, you want to look right up here in the upper left. This little pop-up is asking you, what do you want to draw when you go to draw with the pen tool? Do you want to draw paths? Do you want to draw shape layers? I want to make sure I'm going to draw a path. Okay, and all I have to do for a straight vertical line is click once at the top and let go. There's my anchor point started. Now I come down to the bottom, hold shift to come straight down and click my mouse again. That will create a perfect vertical line. I've connected the first point to the second point. Okay, notice how this second point is dark blue. This is active. This is the last one that I created, so this is the active one. So the problem is, if I went up here to now start to draw this line and I clicked, it's going to keep connecting the dots. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to edit, undo that last new anchor point. And what you have to do with the pen tool is every time you are done drawing a line, you have to deselect the anchor points, kind of deactivate this line so it won't connect to the next one. All you have to do to do that is hover over a blank part of your page, hold your command key, there's that white arrow again, and click. Now the anchor points get turned off. This line is now deactivated. It's not live. Let go of the command key. My pen tool pops back up. And when you have lines at a perfect 45 degree angle, you can click once at the beginning, hold shift key, and click once at the end. Shift key makes verticals, 45 degree angles, or horizontals. So again, once a line has been drawn, command click to deselect. Let go of command key to reactivate your pen tool. Hold space bar to move this over. I'll just kind of move these out of the way here for a second. And now, it says hold the shift key the whole time because you have 45 degree angles, verticals, 
horizontals, vertical, horizontal, vertical, 45 degrees. All of these can be drawn with your shift key. So I'm going to click there to start, click and let go. Now I'm going to hold shift key the entire time. Shift and click, shift and click, shift and click, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. Perfect. Hold command key and click. That will deactivate all those points. Hold my space bar for the hand tool and I can push this up. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see that whole thing right there. There we go. Now with the pen tool, I have these odd angles. They're not exactly 45 degrees, so I don't want to touch my shift key. Okay, all I'm going to do for straight lines is click and let go, then the next corner, click and let go, then the next one, click and let go, then the next, click and let go, and then the next, click and let go. The next line is a perfect horizontal line, so I'll come over to the right, shift click. When it's not a 45 degree angle, don't hold your shift key, just click. Now let's say I come down here and by accident, I click like that. I make a mistake, okay? Mistakes are no problem with the pen tool. You don't delete them, okay? Because that's just like starting over. If I accidentally make a mistake, I hold my command key for the white arrow my white arrow is my editing tool. And I just push that little point back where it belongs. These are like bendable wire frames. See, I can bend them, move them around, and put them right back where they belong. Okay, so if I let go of my command key, now I just have to click on the end of the line to reconnect. Click to go where I left off. Click again. Hold shift for a perfect horizontal line and click then I let go of the shift key click 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 shift click always command key and click when you're done to deactivate that line space bar to move it up and it says, for these two closed shapes, you're going to see a small circle next to your pen tool when you go all the way around back to the start. Okay, that little small circle is called the loop. It means you've looped all the way around to create a closed border. So even though this arrow says start here, I'm going to start down here so you can see my cursor a little more clearly. And notice before I start, there is a little asterisk to the lower right of the pen tool. Okay, when I have that asterisk, that means I'm ready to start drawing. So I'm gonna click, 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 click. Oops, I made a mistake. Hold your command key, move your mistake, let go of the command key, click to continue, then continue drawing from there. If I make another mistake, well, I know that should have gone there, so I'll just keep going. Click, click. When I come back to the start, now to the lower right of my pen tool is a loop. So I click. That closes up the loop. I've looped all the way around. I got a problem up here, so I hold my command key for my white arrow. I can click on that point and let go. Now I've isolated that one point. It's the only one that's solid. And I click and drag and move it. Mistakes are no big deal. Just don't make a lot of them. Okay, I'm going to hold command and click outside and we'll do one more here. Click, 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 click. This is a perfect vertical edge, so I'm going to shift click. This is not a 45 degree angle, so I'm not gonna hold my shift key, and I'm gonna come all the way back to the loop. Click. Okay, when I zoom out, and I look at the entire page, notice how this one is still active. That's the last one that I drew. 
So this is really important. On your paths panel, typically you're gonna have layers, channels, and paths like this. Okay, you're probably gonna have layers here. Let me just double click these to shrink them. There you go. Layers, channels, and paths. Okay, on your paths panel, that has been recording every single click that you made with that pen tool. The pen tool draws paths. It's called a work path. That means Photoshop doesn't know if you're really done yet. So it thinks you're gonna try to keep working on this. I need to tell Photoshop I am done. So what I do is I double click on the name work path and I will call this straight paths. I click OK and here's what I recommend. You click once down below that will turn them off. Then you click once on the name to reactivate all of them. Notice this is not the only one with points now. None of them have points. They're all ready to go. Just click down below, then click the name. As proof to me that you have traced these correctly, you're gonna go to your brush. And I'm gonna set control and option, make the brush a little bit smaller. Mine's maybe around 70 pixels or so. I'm gonna set the opacity back to 100%. And I'm gonna pick a color, doesn't matter what color, just pick a color to paint with. And basically what we're gonna do is use these little paths as train tracks. And my brush is gonna go up and down and up and down these train tracks and paint and leave a streak of red in its wake. Okay, so as proof that I trace these correctly, I've set up my brush size, I've set up my color, I've set it to 100%. I go to my paths panel. We'll tear that out so you can see it. Click the pop-up in the upper right and say stroke path, paint along the path. Photoshop is gonna ask you, which one of these tools would you like to paint along those paths? These all can follow those lines like train tracks. I want my brush. It's what I set up. So I click OK, and there's my proof that I have traced them correctly. I can click right down below the name Straight Paths. Now I don't have to look at them. I just see my streak of paint left behind, and that's my first version of Drawing with the Paths. So you're going to save this. Call it Last Name, First Name, Paths 1, because again, we got three of them. Call it Last Name, First name, paths, one, save it as a JPEG, and then you can close it up so we can start on the next one.